From 329 to 977, Ariel Castro now faces a nearly 1,000 count indictment in the kidnapping and rape of three young women. But just what does it all mean? News Channel 5 Stephanie Ramirez joins us now with the answers. And Danita, if you haven't seen it already, this is the 576 page indictment. This replaces the previous 329 count indictment and legal analysts say this is what the public prosecutor is supposed to do in investigating a big case like this. It may not change the results since pro those analysts, I'm sorry, say Castro was already looking at possibly several life sentences, but those same analysts say it does change the process. When do you see cases this big? Civil rights attorney Avery Friedman answered. War crimes trial. When you see matters at The Hague, uh, the International Court of Justice, you will see not uncommonly 700, 800, 900 counts. So to see this in a local case is extraordinary by any measure. 977 counts is the superseding indictment that came down today against kidnapping suspect 52-year-old Ariel Castro. The higher count indictment now covers a longer period from August 2002 when Michelle Knight first went missing to last May when all three women were rescued. It's a unique, horrifying set of circumstances. For Castro's attorneys, criminal defense lawyer Ron Fry tells me the new indictment shows prosecutors mean business. It does add additional leverage for the prosecutor's office against Mr. Castro. It's, it's more difficult to address 977 counts versus 329. He says it could also mean a very lengthy trial with the prosecution having to provide evidence for each and every count. Still, both attorneys agree it's perhaps a stronger avenue than the death penalty. If the charge comes in and involves a forced abortion, Friedman says. The problem is that you can only murder a person. Are we going to be delving into complicated constitutional issues? Is it a person at the moment of conception or a day later? With the death penalty specification, it's a game changer because most people don't plead guilty to the death penalty. And both attorneys say it's clear the prosecution is taking their time consulting the victims as well to see what they want, and they're not willing to risk anything in the trial of Ariel Castro. And that doesn't mean the death penalty is off the table, though. We could also see more charges for that matter. Castro is due to be arraigned next Wednesday. On your side in the newsroom, Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5.